The Department of Homeland Security pushing up construction on more border fencing. I'm Natasha Paloma. I'm Daniel Marin. That fencing is set for Arizona and here in the El Paso sector. KTSM 9 News reporter Cesar Vasquez live near the U.S.-Mexico border. The Department of Homeland Security has issued two waivers for Yuma and El Paso to install a bollard fence in areas where the fencing may be dilapidated or outdated. Those waivers will allow crews to do around certain construction and environmental laws. The El Paso project was awarded to a Galveston construction company, that contract worth $789 million. The fencing will span about 46 miles from Santa Teresa to Deming. You'll remember similar replacements were made a year ago in other parts of the border. It was met with opposition from groups against the wall, and some continue to have the same sentiment. What's keeping us safe is the interaction between um, border communities and law enforcement agencies and not the wall. We were safe before the wall, and we will continue to be safe if we continue to build those relationships between law enforcement and, and community members. The projects will also include road construction and lighting improvements. As for whether this is all part of President Trump's emergency declaration, a Border Patrol agent we spoke with said it is not. Live near the U.S.-Mexico border, Cesar Vasquez, KTSM 9 News. All right, thank you, Cesar. New Mexico now, where Otero County has declared a local emergency over the closed Border Patrol checkpoints. Officials say the closures are allowing drug trafficking to move through. The county is asking the governor to deploy the National Guard to help man the Border Patrol checkpoints, including the one in Oro Grande between Las Cruces and Alamogordo. As we've reported, several checkpoints have been closed as Border Patrol agents have been reassigned to help deal with the influx of asylum seekers.